So if you remember the, uh, the, the TV show Fall Guy with Lee Majors, and you remember yeah. the intro song? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the intro song says it all, man. You know? yeah. Unknown stuntman, you know what I'm saying? These guys, yeah. these people, men and women are not getting recognition, but they're making these key actors, these, these A-list actors look great. This episode, we are going to talk about someone who became much more known to us through our uh, reviews and discussions about movies. His name is Bob Miner. Make sure y'all look this brother up. Bob Miner is a black stuntman who's been in the industry uh, since the 70s. 70s, right? Early 70s. Revolutionary person in the, in the terms of. Uh, the stunt business. Of course, he's not the first stunt man, obviously. But right. as far as black stunt men, you know, he kind of he kind of blazed a trail for black stunt men. He became the first one to be part of the Stunt Man Association of America Association of America. He became like the vice president, you know, I think like six years after that. Really important figure in this industry. And it's one of those guys, man, I think that just never got the shine that he should have. Absolutely. Know? When you look up his history and, and the things that he's done, he's got a ton of credits and he's still doing stuff. He's 79 years right. old. And you would never know this brother's name if you just saw him on TV. Right. Absolutely. I, I feel like, you know, that's, that's, that's a shame. He's done too much. That's a shame. So we're going to spotlight Bob Miner today. Absolutely. Sure. So uh, Bob was born uh, January 1st, 1944, so 79 to the present date. Um, best known for doing uh, uh, stunt doubles for uh, many, many uh, Afro-American actors. Um, people like Danny Glover, Carl Weathers, uh, Jim Brown, John Amos. I mean, you know, he's done, he's, like Sydney you said, he's Poitier. been in the industry. Sidney Poitier, definitely with that. <laughs> definitely with that one in particular, yeah. 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 Um, but he was born in Birmingham, Alabama. And his uh, his first television appearance was in 1973, um, and he's been on shows like you know Six Million Dollar Man. Uh, I think it's like Bar Barnaby Jones. I you know I didn't I don't remember watching a lot of Barnaby Jones, but that's one of the shows from back in the day. Uh, of course, Magnum PI, uh, Eight is Enough. You know he, he was on Wonder Woman, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Of course, one of my favorites. Um, but uh, it, it's crazy because he was very influential in um, the making of coffee. And Foxy Brown, you know, he actually was the stunt coordinator on both of those films, and uh, you know, he was told to make sure that Pam Greer looks her best. And I can tell you, those two films were knocked out of the park. <laughs> I mean, you cannot tell me. Yeah, he actually had people. He played roles in those movies. Yes, exactly. I mean, yeah. she just she was the 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 action woman. Period for the year. <laughs> Yeah. So much ass kicking went on in that film, man. I mean, he definitely did right. it all. It was and, awesome. and not only, that's right, not only was she like the action woman of the period, you know, she was a black woman. So, like, there were, first of all, there weren't any action roles for women back nope. then, you know, in the early nope. 70s. And she was a black woman as the, the heroine of the movies, which was just yes. totally, it was totally left field at the time, which just Absolutely. made it even better. And of course, she was Pam Greer. You know, she was Pam Greer. So, you know, right. It, who was looking better than Pam Greer at the time? You know, not too many. Not too many, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that 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 those both of those films were were outstanding, and I didn't know that he did any any stunt work on Blackula or Scream, Blackula Scream, but he was involved in both of those as well. So I mean, a lot of films, uh, uh, Live and Let Die. I think that's the uh, that was I think it was Sean yeah. Connery or James Bond. yeah, I think it's Sean Connery or uh, Roger, Moore, Roger Moore, but. Roger Moore, yeah. Um, yeah it was Roger Moore. That's one of my favorite yeah. Bond movies, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, who played the main villain. He played the main villain. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was uh, involved in Cleopatra Jones. Um, you know, you want to get closer to present date, you know, 1993. I didn't even notice he was the uh, stud coordinator for the movie Posse. I think that was Mario Van Peebles. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So I, I had and, no uh, idea Tom about Lopes that. that movie. Yeah, yeah, Tony Loke and Big yep, Daddy he Kane. Was, uh, he did Glory. <laughs> yep. yep, he did. He did Glory, Ghostbusters Two, Boys in the Hood, CB4, oh, yeah. Poetic Justice, Blank Man, 
And that's just stopping in the 90s. You know, he kept on going after that. Right, right. Man. He was yeah, involved so this, in Rocky III. This, this brother was... So, oh. Yeah. Yeah, he was born. I didn't know that either. <laughs> yeah. so, so this is what yeah. I mean, like being able to, to shed some light on him and then have people go, oh, wow, and now you got to go back and take a look at stuff. <laughs> you know, which, is, which makes it even that much awesome. Yeah. So. And, you know, we started talking about Bob Miner. Believe when we talked about Action Jackson was it before that? right? No, I think it was Action, Action Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, talking about because I was like, hey, the guy in Action Jackson, uh, Gamble, was the same guy that was in uh, Commando, and mm-hmm. you know, I you know, start talking about him and look and realize this guy. Not only was he just you know, you know kind of like a background actor in the movie, you know, he was a stunt man and he did a lot of the stunts. So he, I'm almost sure he was doubling for Carl Weathers in the movie. You know, uh, Bob Miner's a big guy. He was a bodybuilder before he became mm-hmm. a stuntman and a champion bodybuilder. So, right. and he was athletic. So he was able to kind of double a lot of roles. He, in an interview, he talked about, he might've done stunts with seven or eight different people in the same movie. In the same film, you know right? what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he's, yeah, in the same movie, he's, he's just doubling a bunch of people and he's coordinating the stunts. Not to get too much on the tangent, but like one great story he told is about uh, the stunt he did on, uh, I think it was, it was Let's Do It Again. Let's Do It Again, yeah. I think it was Let's Do It Again, yeah. And I, we got to talk about Let's Do It Again in Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> I love both of those movies. No problem, no problem. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially Let's Do It Again. I love that movie. He talked about them needing a stunt person to double Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier directed those movies. Needed right. a stunt person to double Sidney Poitier, and it had to be able to jump. 18 feet, which would have been a gap between yeah. two buildings. And they were kind of having like a tryouts and Bob Miner at the time, you know, I think he just started doing, kind of recently started doing stunt work. And he was doubled right. for like Fred Williamson and, and things of that nature. And I want to say somebody saw him, they knew he was really athletic. And, you know, he tried to, he said, okay, well, I'm gonna try to do this uh, tryout. So they were kind of having like a thing in a field on flat ground to see if someone could jump the furthest, like 18, at least 18 feet. So right, right. He said, "Okay, yeah, I give it a shot." He said, "On his first try, he he nailed. He jumped like twenty feet, and but he pulled a hammy, so he only he only jumped mm-hmm. once, but he was able to do it. And no one else was really able to do it. Producers offered him the job. He said it's going to cost you four thousand dollars, and they said, "Well, we ain't paying you four thousand dollars." They said, "Well, okay, right. I got to turn it down then, because it was a dangerous stunt. Yeah. You know, he was jumping from one building to another. It's not like he was just jumping on the ground, taking big risks." Well, mm-hmm. come to find, right, right come to find out they couldn't get anybody else that could make that jump because he was a he was a, <laughs> a, he was a high jumper i think i think he said it was a high jumper i think it was a high so jumper could, a long jump right right he was fast and he was athletic so mm-hmm. no one else could really make this jump so they had to come they had to come back call him back and he said and they said hey look you know we want to offer you this job we'll we'll pay you the four thousand dollars he said, okay, well, I accept, but it's going to cost you twice that much now. Right. And, you know, right. he kind of kind of had him over a barrel, and he had Sidney Portier over a barrel. <laughs> like, okay, you want somebody to do this stunt, it's going to cost you eight grand now. And yeah, so We're talking yeah. about 19... This movie came out like, what, 75, 76? I can't remember. Maybe 77, something like that. Yeah, it might um, have been 77. I know it was late, mid to late 70s. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's good, good money for a stunt at the time, especially for a black stunt man. And it's just yeah. the show it goes to show that like Bob Miner knew his worth. You know, yeah. he, it, it wasn't like they were going to be able to lowball him because he was a black stunt man. He's like, no, right. everybody right. can't do what I can do, and I can prove it. Exactly. Exactly. And, and he said, you know, that was that was a stunt that he his he was shaking in his boots a little bit when you know when it was time to actually do the stunt on set, and he had to tell Sidney yeah. Portier, hey, look, you you say action, I might not go. Just I'm getting my mind right. Just keep rolling, and and I, I'll do it. You know, but that's right. the the dedication. He was a young man. You know, and, and you gotta think at the time, man. It's not like stunt work had been around for years, obviously. But it, it's you know, it hasn't. It's not. It wasn't maybe as perfected as a craft as it is now. Like where you can have Tom Cruise doing these crazy stunts because there's so much safety around. Around there's so right. much right. coordination and everything. You know, back then, you know. You're talking about pen and paper, people writing down, you know, 
taking measurements and doing stuff, you know, and mentally and like, okay, I think I can make that jump. You know, it may not be the same mm-hmm. kind of cables to help that it ain't digitally <laughs> erasing all that. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude, like, no, yeah, I got to jump from a building to another building, right? Exactly. <laughs> like that's some Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan type stuff. So, Bob might have understood that, and you know, uh, just is. I almost wish that like I could just sit down and talk to the, pick his brain. Yeah. You know, and not yeah. not just about stunt work, but just about like the industry and what kind of like obstacles he had. Because as a black right. stuff man, like you can't, you obviously can't double a white person. No, you know, no. so like you're 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 doing you're doubling for black actors primarily, or you're coordinating. Well, there were fewer of those roles, but he, I right. guess, he's kind of lucky when he came about in the industry. It was like during the whole black exploitation book, so there was plenty of right. like, there was plenty of roles for him to do. But not those huge right. Hollywood roles, but there were plenty of roles for him to do to kind of get his foot in the door of the business, where he was able to right. parlay that later in the eighties, nineties, and two thousands into like more uh, more mainstream stunt work. And right. So I went on a whole tangent. Right. <laughs> no, you you good, you good, and I mean I, I'm glad yeah. you said that because you know that pretty much when he entered into the into the business, it was like right place, right time. So by the time he got to the point where we are now, you know, he's well seasoned and I mean, he's like, yeah. you know, he's making top dollar now. Now when you need something done, he knows exactly what's required and what he needs to do and what the actors and actresses need to do, which is just making him more bank. Yeah. Right. And, and one uh, thing that we notice, you know, when, when we say we want to talk about Bob Miner is that one of the reasons that we want to talk about him is because there's really not a lot of information about him online. No, you know, you, you know, if you look up his wiki, it's not, it's just basic information, IMDb, basic information, like movies and stuff. Paragraph. Yeah. Right. And there are, I would dare to say, less accomplished people that you could find on IMDb with a much deeper uh, IMDb profile. Yes. Than Bob yeah. Mike. And maybe that has to do with his own personal life. It's not, it hasn't been a whole lot of drama and stuff like that. I don't know, but... I, I just feel like you know it's a shame that this person who's so who's done so much just has so much so such a little small footprint online you know you actually have to go dig up interviews with him to get right. any real information on him. exactly exactly and it's, and it's not just him I mean there's there are other uh, uh, stunt people of color that aren't mentioned uh at all and they're they're currently working right now i tell you i you know after i watched the interview with him i i saw some stuff on uh, different ones and i'm just going to name a few uh you got uh atlanta husband she actually played the she was a stunt double for anybody that watches horror she was a stunt double for kelly Rowland in uh jason versus freddie um so when when jason smacked her character up against the tree you know that was that was all atlanta um and you got somebody, uh, another person is uh, Eric Chambers. Uh, he's from San Diego, California. He's done a lot of work on the Fast and Furious films. Um, he also was involved in Iron Man 2 and Blade. First time I'm hearing about this brother, you know? So this is crazy. Uh, you got another person, I want to pronounce his name right, Clay Fontenot. I think he was a uh, stunt double for Michael B. Jordan and Without Remorse, that he the movie, the movie did on, um, I think it was on Prime. Um, he also did, uh, he was involved in all of the Equalizer films with Denzel Washington. Um, and he did uh, Straight Out of Compton. So again, who is this guy? I've never heard of him in my life. Right. Um, and the last person, which is somebody that's up and coming, I enjoy this brother a lot. I'm, a, I'm hoping I pronounce, pronounce his name right, but it's uh, Guy De Silva Green. Yeah, I know who he is. Uh, yeah, yeah he, he did a lot of the stunt stuff for... Uh, uh, Captain America, uh, the Civil War, and yeah, and, and Winter yeah. Soldier. He did uh, he did the stuff for uh, T'Challa, and uh, he also did uh, something was a live action um, adaptation of of uh, uh, anime, My Hero Academia, L.A. Oh and yeah, that yeah, pretty much was yeah. he was working with some other people that were out of from the Marvel camp, and that was I think that was like maybe about fifteen minutes, and absolutely wonderful work, man. So he's definitely somebody that's uh, he's talks about i've seen a few interviews with him he talks about how the stunt people are now uh incorporating dance and gymnastics with martial arts to kind of make it kind of like more of a of a of a, of a bigger thing so he's like you know 
leading. He's a trailblazer as well with with the new stuff. So I mean, but these people they they're yeah, not getting any quest. mention. Like if you you got to go on a quest just to find these folks, just to yeah. find information about them. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know? I I know about Guy through uh, watching the Corridor Crew videos on YouTube. Right. Uh, Corridor Crew does like special effects and stunts and stuff like that. But like a lot of times, mm -hmm. Guy whenever they do like stunt men react. Guy is one of the guys on the couch doing the reaction with them, and yeah, he'll yeah. he'll he'll break down the stunts. And a lot of a lot of the videos they'll do movies that and TV shows and things that he's done, and they'll break down yeah. the stunt. He'll break down how he did the stunt, and, and it's it's wonderful. And like like you said, I would have never known who this brother was if just not right. randomly seeing him on on his videos. Right. Like you know, it's somebody. Right. You know, somebody's doing you know the stunts for. Chadwick Boseman as uh, T'Challa, but you right. never get to see her face, so you have no idea who it is. Nope. It could be anybody under that mask, right. you know. But to know that it was like right. another young brother, like that's 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 different. It kind of makes me laugh though, because if you, <laughs> because you and I we grew up doing the same. I remember. So if you remember the uh, the, the TV show Fall Guy with Lee Majors, and you remember yeah. the intro song, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the intro song <laughs> says it all, man. Yeah. The unknown stuntman, you know what I'm saying? These guys, yeah. these people, men and women are not getting recognition, but they're making these key actors, these A-list actors look great, you That's know? Right. And I think sometimes it, 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 they deserve, they deserve to be put in the spotlight because again, it takes, it takes a certain type of person to do this type of work, to be set on fire, to have to jump from heights, to do these things and to do them safely, you know, and have the athleticism to be able to fall without injury, you know, it's like, I can't do that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, or or with injury and, and keep and keep it moving. Right? Yeah, keep it moving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bob Miner is is a legend in the game, and you know it, it will be man. Look, it would be an honor if I ever actually had a chance to speak to this per this guy in person and pick his brain a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Because like you said, he he's made he's made some of our favorite movie characters look better. Exactly. And, you know, we gotta exactly. we gotta show some appreciation for that. You know, he's not just gotta show some you know, love. He's acted in a lot of movies. Yeah, he's acted in a lot of movies, but he's always been kind of a background in most most of those movies. Um, so you, right. know, you don't pay him any attention. You think like, okay, this guy's just an actor. He's in the background. No, no, this dude might have been in the background in a few scenes, or maybe he spoke a couple of times in the movie. But you don't know how many stunts he's done for this same movie. He might have been a coordinator right. on that. Like you said, man, just bring a little shine. Bring a little shine to somebody like Bob Miner because uh, I think he deserves it. Not this, like Absolutely. you said, there's not enough information on this guy online. He, he, he blazed a trail for these guys you just named. He, he kind of blazed a trail. Yep. You know, where, would, where would it be exactly. without a guy like him? They would probably still be struggling to get into business or to find decent roles, but, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Playing, playing a drug addict. You know, like the old, the old trope of, uh, I don't know if you remember Hollywood Shuffle, but... You know, playing a, a a drug addict or you know a criminal or something like that. Exactly, so. exactly. Definitely, just the, the the YouTube is full of interviews with these people that we're mentioning. Um, so you, you owe yourself to to watch some of their interviews and enjoy some of the stories that they tell because it kind of just opens up the whole. Because I didn't really know that much about stunt business until we started like digging into this type of stuff, man. And yeah. it's really, yeah. it's really a business that. You got to be careful, and you got to be like a list when it comes to knowing what you know, because you're dealing with with damage and danger. <laughs> so you know, and these guys are top notch. So definitely, yeah. So do the research and enjoy these people. You know, if they got fan clubs, send them some fan mail. Thanks again, Alex. You know, we enjoy talking about these folks because uh, you know we're, we're kind of nervous. So we, just, we just enjoy talking about this, and hopefully, if they get 100%. to see, it, hey, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all the work that you've done to Absolutely. improve Thank you. our lives. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Yep.